How much are you getting me with this little thing that's this close? You're surprised, so here? I'm getting you to here. Crazy. So hello, my name is Aaron Finney. I'm one of the outreach leaders who have taken the first team to Wang Papal. There's a team of four of us that have come for two and a half weeks, and we came with four main goals. One of the first main goals is worship and prayer. Worship and prayer for what the Lord wants to do here in Wang Papal, what the Lord has envisioned for His kingdom to come here in Wang Papal. The number two is building relationship with the teachers, with students here. How can we build connections with uh, the principal and just showing our love and building that bridge between YWAM and Wang Papal? So one of the big highlights for me here was working with the kids and seeing how they have grown and how they have even matured, we've done a number of teachings with them. We taught them about the gospel. We taught them about hearing God's voice and had activities with them. And so it's really encouraging for me to know that I get to be a part of that in their life. Doing worship with the kids and like seeing them pray in prayer meetings, they're really serious about this. So that is something that's really impacted my life and really impacted uh, how I viewed this as this is really important and this is really gonna have a big impact in their lives. We are just going around this community and actually mapping out Wang Papau and we're looking forward to the future when we have many outreach teams come here. One of the main opportunities that have been given to us was actually a man named Yo. He was an English teacher at a uh, Buddhist school that we met at church and has been praying for this last couple months to send an outreach team here to his school and that we could actually reach those kids who do not know the Lord. We even talked with the principal and he is willing to have uh, us come teach English, teach cultural experience. But the main thing is that we can actually come with Christianity and share the gospel to these kids who do not know Jesus. Yeah, so we're really excited for what the Lord is gonna to continue to do here in Wayne Papau. I know we're the first team that has come, but we know in the future that the Lord is gonna to continue to build and build and build and that this is just the first step. We're looking forward to many more outreach teams to come. So we want to share with you, just at a heart-to-heart -heart level, um, what's happening here with YWAMCM, with everything that's happening with the coronavirus. Yes, this is something that is spreading and affecting all the nations in such an intense way. And so this is just a snapshot of what's happening with us and our family and how you can even be praying for us and just, yeah, be connected to what's happening over here. Yeah, this is an intense time. And uh, as we've been coming together as a team here, um, we've really been spending this time seeking the Lord and worshiping Him. For us, we feel like the Lord is preparing us and readying us for what's to come. We've been talking about this and praying about this for a long time, and we feel like we're on the verge of a major move of God in this nation. And so rather than just silencing ourselves and separating ourselves, we're using this time to seek the Lord and get His perspective. And in the midst of that, um, a lot of what God has been sharing with us is this is preparation for a coming harvest. Yeah. Um, even with this coronavirus, it's really stirring the hearts of people everywhere. And so he's saying, hey, after this comes through, there's going to be a lot of open doors for the gospel. There's going to be a lot of people who are looking for truth. And he's shared a couple things with us. He's shared the idea of really strategically reaching every sub-district in Thailand. And, and giving some measurable things that we are really pursuing in an intentional way. Mm -hmm. So every sub-district, the goal is that everyone in those sub-districts would hear the gospel and have an ability to respond to the gospel. That everybody in those sub-districts would be able to receive a Bible in their own language and that they would have access to a Christian community. And so this, of course, right now in this season of lockdown, um, there's not much of stepping up into this at this moment, but what you have, you're saying is like the Lord's saying, this is this is a time for preparation for yes. what's about to come. That's right. A time to ready ourselves and prepare, a time of preparation. So now is a time to really strategize and process and pray about how we will move forward when this lifts. And so we have a lot of excitement here at YWMCM and we are just filled with anticipation for what's to come. And again, we believe that 2020 is gonna be a year of the great harvest, not just the coronavirus. And so we would invite you to pray with us, stand with us in this time, and we will be doing the same for, for all of you, our family and friends.